Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kid Lee, and this is the Datacron video for the new planet of Makeb. The first Datacron is going to be a plus 10 to presence, and is located at the zone that is listed at the top of my screen here. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name because I'm sure I'll just butcher it. Uh, if we zoom out to the big map, this is the zone that is located at the very bottom of the map. Uh, the area that you're looking for on the map here is you'll want to shoot for this little v-notch in the road and you can see where my character is listed here from here you're looking for this gap in the road and this sort of uh, broken down sideways building uh, the first thing we'll go ahead and do is we'll jump across here we'll go up alongside of the building and continue in a north direction We'll continue along this way. We'll jump up and over this rock and we'll switch over to uh, on foot mode as we make a little jump there. Continuing along, make a jump here and we'll go to the left of this building. Now up ahead here you'll see this giant rock. On the back side of this rock is a hidden cave entrance. And we'll go ahead and mount back up here for a second. We'll head through the cave entrance. And as we reach this point, we are looking for this little gap in the rocks. As we look down, you see sort of a green grassy hill and then a rock below it. The rock below it is the one you are shooting for. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a jump on that. And I almost missed it, but I made it. From here we'll continue on and once you get here go ahead and hop down hop down again and you slowly work your way to this point to where you can see the piping slowly make your way to the pipes and you'll want to do sort of a angle jump here you don't want to jump straight on otherwise you might miss it but do just sort of an angle jump and you've got your landing. Now here we'll have to jump onto the next pipe. You might want to back up just a little bit. And make your attempt. Uh, sort of find your way to this pipe. Just do a straight jump up and move your mouse forward. And then you make your way onto this area. Now you can finally see the Datacron down below there. Now I think the safest way to do this is to get yourself to the edge here and then do spacebar forward, spacebar forward, spacebar forward. And again, same here, spacebar forward, spacebar forward, spacebar forward. And keep doing that until you get onto the pipe. One more. And then from here, do just a long jump. And there you go, now you have your Datacron. The next and final Datacron is a plus 10 to Endurance and is located in the Furin Mesa area. If we take a look at the big map, it is the area that is located here. Now the area that you are looking for is basically here where the road ends and you can kind of see there's a rock and sort of a little building and you will want to start right here where I have my triangle. What you're looking for is this sort of green grass area that then transitions into rocks. So we'll go ahead and we'll just follow along here passing through some flying guys. Make our way down here a little bit and we've got another patch of green and we'll drop down onto you another patch of green. From here we're going to dismount. And as we look over the edge, you can see another green area just below. I recommend turning off sprint and I'm going to go ahead and use a jump tap method which I'll be using several more times. Uh, basically what you do is you just jump and then hit your forward. So jump forward, jump forward 
Jump forward. Jump forward. Jump forward until you land down on the position where you want to go. And we have a hidden bunker here. We'll go ahead and jump into that. Alright, we'll go ahead and mount up. Make our way along the bridge. And we'll see there is a guy here. Go ahead and kill the guy. Once the guy is dead and you're all healed up, what you're looking for is you're looking for this beam here. We'll go ahead and we'll walk up the beam and you have to sort of tap very gently off to the side and you want to be just on the side of it so you can walk up the rest of the way. Then you'll want to turn around and you need to do the same thing on this beam. You need to tap over because we're trying to walk on the sli slightly darker area. You very slowly make your way underneath it and we are now underneath. Now here we've got a a pipe and the only way to get on here is you'll need a speeder and you'll need to make sort of a longer jump onto it. If you try and get right next to it and jump on top of it, it won't work. So you try and make a longer jump. Oop, missed it. Might take you a couple tries. There we go. We'll dismount now and we'll work our way down the pipe. And we'll jump onto this one. If we can make it. There we go. Slowly make our way up onto this beam. Doing real careful jumps here. And once you make it to this point and the sort of a reddish piping, you'll want to go ahead and mount up. Do sort of an angle jump to get on top of this one and go ahead and right up the side of this building here and we've got another rock way here now in this area there are these guys and these guys do have a knockback so they could knock you off the edge and you should be able to skip that one but this one will have to fight so try and put your back to the wall and make sure you don't get knocked off I've tried a couple of times to knock him off and it seems like it doesn't let me alright once that one is dead heal up and we'll move on here maybe mount up for a minute here we'll jump up and you're aiming for the ledge down below you can do a nice long jump on that one and go ahead and heal up and this is going to be a pretty common theme here jumping and healing jumping and healing and we'll look below and we've got another ledge we'll do a jump down to and once again heal up and then we'll have another jump Let's take a look here. Where's this one at? Oh, I think it's way over here. Yep. This one you can do just kind of a fall. And once again, heal up. And this one, it's best to use a speeder and do sort of a, a longer jump on this one try and make sure you don't hit this wall sort of the, to the right side because you can hit that and then it'll knock you free of the cliff area alright we'll go ahead and heal up again alright moving along Do a drop down on this one. Healing up yet again. Uh, 
Alright. Do a precision drop onto this one. Take a look around here for a second. Okay. Basically you have to do a drop right into right onto a guy this time. And again, you have to watch for his knockback, try and get to a wall. Uh, something else you might want to be careful of is we're trying to reset my companion here. Hopefully she'll follow me down. Do a shield on me, shield on her. Trying to heal up a little bit. Alright, and once he's dead, heal up yet again. And we will move on. Go over to this side and nice easy jump onto that platform. We'll actually use a mount. And there you go. Heal up once more. And remount aiming for that rock over there. This one can maybe be a bit of a longer jump. There we go. Alright, and then from here we'll go ahead and do sort of a running jump down. And what do you know, we gotta heal up again. Moving forward, we'll mount up again. Another run and jump. And we have more guys to kill. Now I pop back in here. When you're fighting that first one, all of a sudden, a second one will come out of nowhere. So you will end up fighting two. Alright, once the two of them are dead, go ahead and heal up again. And we'll continue to follow the ledge here. Finally making our way back into civilization. Alright, we got some more little guys to kill here. Alright, once you have the little guys dead, you'll see that we have a very large towering structure. What we're looking for is a slow moving lift. And there it is. I'm actually going to wait for it. But the lift is going to go all the way up and then you basically jump off the lift. Now in order to get on the lift we have to wait for it to go back down and then you do sort of a suicide jump off the uh, side there to get on the thing. So we'll have to wait for it to go up and then all the way back down. Okay the lift is now making its downward descent. Once it gets to the very bottom of its track it's actually going to pause. Alright, there's the pause. Now that looks pretty far to me. I'm not going to risk um, that jump. I'm going to wait for it to come up just a little bit before I try it. Alright, it's starting to go back up, so here we go. And we'll go ahead and heal up and wait for the lift to move its way back up the tower here. Okay, we're actually 
going for the second platform, not the top one. So once you think you have a reasonable distance, go ahead and make the jump. Alright, and we'll go ahead and move along here until you hit this spot. Now this is sort of the last, or one of the last, tricky spots left in this. So go ahead and take the speeder and you jump up on this. And as we look through the sort of crack in the buildings, you can see there's, there's a ground level, and there is a bar, and there's sort of a goldish yellowish pipe. What you're going to do is do sort of an angle jump, and you're aiming for that grayish steelish bar. If you miss it, don't worry. Um, in my uh, first attempt to do this, I missed it and I was still able to continue on. So uh, we'll see what happens here because it seems to me there's at this point there's a couple of different ways of doing this. So we'll go ahead and make the jump and, and see what happens. You might have to use a little bit of camera control if you want to hit that, that beam. So we'll go ahead and we'll try it here. Oh, I actually did. I got one of the little deals. Um, before what happened to me is I actually landed up over in these rocks and I was still able to make my way across to where we were going. But since I actually made it on the beam this time, we'll go ahead and just use the so-called uh, normal method. So we'll just make our way along here. Alright, and we'll go ahead and jump onto the rocks. Heal up for just a second, make sure I'm at 100%. And we're making our way along this way. Now the goal is, is down below there you can see more sta uh, steel uh, piping. And our, our goal is to get down onto that. And you want to just sort sort of slowly make your way down there. You can use the rocks to actually slide, sort of tiptoe or tap your way down. Heal up that little bit there. Okay, from here we're gonna make a jump. Just gonna aim straight on for this one. There we go. We'll use this healing method. I don't want my guy to accidentally step off. We're too deep into this. Don't want to fail it now. All right, we'll make our way along this way. Maybe turn sprint back on. Because there you go, you can actually see it. We're getting close. At this point, we're pretty much home free. And there you go, there's your plus 10 to endurance data cron.